Yeah, I, I uh, spoke to the team before the game that, uh, you know, obviously Vanderbilt uh, is real good here at home. And uh, um, and they're looking for that first win, and they're going to come out and get after us, and they did. Uh, and uh, we spoke about <clears throat> not getting wrapped up in the emotion of the moment, the game, the score, just stay the course, and it's a 40-minute game. And uh, luckily, uh, you know, Sonny, AJ, and then Felipe, uh, made some shots in the second half to kind of make us feel a little bit better. And then we guarded a little better, and uh, the zone really helped us, too. How was the team's morale and psyche right there? We just stayed composed through adversity. And I believe I told somebody that before the game. I guess he's not in here, but everybody just was able to keep a level head and just keep fighting. Don't we? we didn't let up. Yeah, just keep a level head, and we had to stay together, stay the course. And Asani, obviously, you had the big three, and then you go to the line to kind of ice it. What was your? You've been here before, but what, what was your mindset right there? Uh, man, just <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. To be honest, I mean, I just kept playing. I mean, as you know, in the first half, I didn't really make any noise at all. Uh, I just came out second half, and I knew that I needed to step up and help my team out. Um, so uh, I just. I felt comfortable at the line. I didn't. Uh, I don't know. I just knocked him down. I don't know what to say. And so, I mean, how were y'all able to, to kind of keep y'all spirits up down so much and having Chris and Mike out most of the second half? They only had a big run to go from 10 to tie with mm -hmm. the typical lineup on the court. Uh, we just we made sure that we, you know, try to defend our matchups the way Coach asked us. And, you know, we all came together and just spoke about it. Like, just sit down and guard. Like, we're not getting good calls. It doesn't matter. Just you know, just keep it up. Sonny, on that technical, it looked like you popped up real quick. Did mm -hmm. a clap or smile or anything? Did yeah. you know what had happened right away? Yeah, I, I saw what the ref called. Um, can't you can't get you know too happy with a call like that? You can't get upset if it doesn't go your way. You just, just keep playing the game. Did you hear him say anything to you? Right over the yeah, line? I did. What did he say? Hey, don't answer that. No. Hey, Jay, what about your free throws? Uh, obviously. You know, a big moment and probably the biggest free throws of, of your career. Mm -hmm. You had seen some teammates miss, free key shot missed four in a row. What was going through your mind at that time? Oh, just stay calm. I heard the crowd cheering real loud. I was just trying to stay focused, stay calm. My teammates were encouraging me, and I just felt confident when I was shooting them. Sonny, did you say anything to I told AJ I had faith in him. And coming down in transition, uh, coach called pistol. And, you know, we executed exactly how he called it. And I told AJ before the play happened that, he was going to get to the line and knock down some shots, and that's exactly what he did. Yep. AJ, when I talked to you about that Florida game, you, the first thing you said was just nervous. First SEC game on the road. What was different about tonight? Uh, my teammates today were just talking to me the whole time, keeping me level-headed, keeping me confident. And I came out with energy, and I just came out aggressive. And my teammates just kept encouraging me, and things were going the right way for me. For either of you, just what was going wrong in the first half? It seemed like you guys could really consistently string together the offense. No, we just we just missed some shots, man, um, and we didn't we didn't guard the matchups the way we needed to. We, you know, we were getting beat off screens and allowing them to get open shots, and they, cause their home court, they were hitting shots, so that put us down early. Um, coming out in the second half, we had a better mindset and uh, we pulled through. Two more, you guys. Uh, you guys have had a lot of close games this SEC season. Um, what do you think about your? What does it say about your team to be able to finish these games off the way you guys have? Uh, from the beginning of the season, we've been practicing real hard for these moments, and right now we're coming together as a team, focusing in and locking in to get these wins. I think it says a lot about our chemistry as a team. Um, everybody, you know, pulls through and, and comes together and makes sure that we all keep fighting. Nobody lets up. And, Sean, you guys probably won this game without AJ and Keyshawn tonight, freshman mm -hmm. on the road in the SEC. Can you just talk about how these guys are maturing before your eyes? Yeah, big impact. They, I mean, we've said it multiple times. We just keep encouraging each other and keeping everybody level-headed so that we can fight through all the adversity that comes our way. Thanks, fellas. Question for Frank? Frank, especially in the first half, seemed like they were really trying to double Chris and Mike. Should you guys prepare for that? What is the problem with those guys trying to get off of those double teams? No, it's, uh, um, that's what they do. They've done it all year. And we, we, we've been dealing with people doubling the post um, a lot. Because they, we're one of the few teams in the country still post up, so people fight what we do by doubling the low post. We just made bad decisions. It's uh, I'm talking about the guys with the ball. Uh, 
um, you know, we just didn't make good decisions. We made an adjustment in the second half uh, from which side of the floor to enter it into the post, but we still didn't get much done with post-ups today. Um, and, uh, and then once we're getting nothing out of Chris and nothing out of Mike, um, I, I decided to kind of open the floor and then, you know, just, uh, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, our, our, our kind of counter to our post-ups where we're trying to attack the paint off the bounce and cuts and, um, uh, and we did that and we did that and uh, um, we got some big time offensive rebounds uh, that we didn't make free throws. Um, off those offensive rebounds, but that that also helped win the game. Our, our ability to get extra possessions there. Frank, forever, you can say that this team would go as, as Chris goes. You win a game on the road today where he has two points and three rebounds and then fouled out. This, what does that say maybe about how you guys are are growing? That's we've been dealing with that. Like Alonzo sprained his ankle on Monday, like he sprained his ankle like like. Uh, right, like two minutes into practice, he didn't practice Monday, didn't practice yesterday. Tried it to shoot around today. He goes out there and he got no idea what he's doing. When I tell you, I have no idea how we make a successful play when he's in the game. I'm not lying, because he's got no idea where he belongs. Um, but uh, uh, but that's we've been dealing with that all year as a team, and it's a matter of being resilient, uh, being a team, uh, not depending on just one individual. Don't get me wrong, we need Chris to play well. Uh, we need him to not commit all the fouls he committed today, which were all bad fouls. Not the calls were bad. Don't get me in trouble. He made bad plays to commit bad fouls. Um, and, uh, um, but we need, we got no production, nothing from him or Mike Kozar. Neither one of them played well for us today. And yet we go on the road and we scrap and fight to figure out a way to win. It's, uh, this, these kids, I've told you guys that cover our team, I've liked this team from day one. They've got a lot of resolve. and. Um, you know, we, we didn't throw the towel in when, when we lost some games earlier. It doesn't mean we're going to win the next six. It just means that when the game's going, I know they're not throwing the towel in. So um, uh, they're fun. They're fun to be around. How tough is it to get into the flow of a game when it's cold like that? Yeah, they got to make those calls. Both teams fouled. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. It's, we fouled. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and they call fouls on us that we committed. We, anytime a guy dribbles the ball and you put two hands on him, it's a hand check. And we did that today. Give Saban Lee credit. They spaced us and they just drove us. And we didn't do a very good job of guarding the ball. And when you do that, the referees have a duty to make that call. And they made it. I, I'll let Bryce answer questions for the Vanderbilt calls. But, you know, I thought our guys drove the ball too. That's, that's part of the game. It's uh, uh, you know, we, we played a game earlier this year where both teams combined to shoot 20 free throws. But do some games flow the way this one did? The way we defend, we force people to drive the ball. So on games where we don't guard the ball the right way, we probably are going to end up fouling. And that's what we did today. That's why I went zone so much in the second half. Is that protecting people more switch the zone, or is this something you've seen from Vanderbilt? Yeah, they, they stopped running offense, like trying to pass the ball side to side to side. And they just said, let's space them and drive them. And they were playing with nobody, nobody down on the baseline, like around the paint. So anytime you drag all our players out to the perimeter, I, I've got to be pretty lacking in intelligence if I'm going to continue to try and deny and open up the court so they can drive. So anytime people do that to us, we go to our condensed man to man. The problem is that the guys guarding the ball today were not very good. The problem is I had to play Alonzo Frank a lot of minutes, and he has no idea what he's doing defensively, none. So our ball screens got – there were breakdowns in ball screen defense because you got a guy in there that doesn't know what he's doing. So we went to the zone to kind of protect, and it kind of worked for us. So I just wrote it, and I stayed with it. Frank Keyshawn misses those four free throws, and you guys had a break. Did you talk to him? No. Up or anything? Yeah, it, when he missed the, the – the, he, he, the last one he missed, the one before, he, he, I, I just said, stop pouting. You're the one that made the play to give yourself a chance. What the heck are you pouting about, man? Without your effort, we don't get those free throws. Just step up to the line and shoot it. And um, um, uh, Key, Key's grown up a lot, continues to grow up. He's not there yet. He, he still um, he, he doesn't understand how hard you have to play all the time, but he's grown up. Frank, what was the key in that run when y'all were down 10 or so with the lineup and you probably haven't played the whole way John, just – it's what we talked about. I'm telling you, it's what I, what I said at the beginning. I, Vanderbilt here at home, 
is really good. They're kind of like us. You know, at home we're better because of our young players. Uh, you know, Vandy at home, they shoot it better. They're, they're, you know, this is one of the unique home court environments. They got a great basketball crowd here. Um, it, it's, it's a hard place to win at, hard place to win at. I, I've seen a lot of real, real good teams come in here and take losses. Um, and uh, yeah, Arizona State came in here as a top 15 team or something like that and took a 20 spot. You know, it's, uh, um, uh, we just, we, we knew they were going to come out. We, we were in this boat last year when they came to us. And we know how hard we played to try and get our first conference win. So I kind of spoke to the guys about that. Like, they're going to come at you. Don't get wrapped. They got good players. Don't get wrapped up in the emotion or in the score. It takes 40 minutes. They're not stopping the game when somebody gets to a 10 point lead. You got to play for 40 minutes and let's see where that falls at the end of 40. And we did that and it worked out for us. Frank, do you have to worry about any of the kids, you know, maybe feeling their oats a little bit the uh, start just because of the way you guys started the season? You think everybody would be pretty grounded? Now, you guys can't run around and say that I'm the biggest grouch in the history of mankind and then think I'm going to let these guys kind of back off. I, it, you know, you can't say I'm a grouch and I'm a mean guy and then turn around and think that I'm going to go in there or patty cake at practice the next couple of days, you know. Now, I, we don't know. I'm just I'm being a smart aleck. We don't know. I'm going to run practice whether we win or lose the same way. My, my, the players will tell you my demeanor never changes based on the result of the previous game. And uh, we're going to go out, and I got a feeling these guys are going to practice well. And whether we win or lose at LSU, it's not going to be because of lack of effort or lack of preparation. At least I don't expect it to be. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming to cover our team.